Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to my outdoor kitchen. Well, it's summer in Texas and it's fucking hot. So let's fire up the offset smoker and make firebox cheeseburgers. Well, we've been spending most of our summer down in Florida. We came home for a little bit and man, it is freaking hot here. So we need some videos. It was 106 today. We thought we'd shoot this at night and you can tell by the sounds, it's hot here. I think it's like a solid four degrees cooler doing this in the evening than it was during the day. But hey, it's summertime. Everybody's gonna be making burgers. You know, there's lots of ways to make burgers, right? We've got smash burgers on our channel. You could just straight grill them but I've known of people that smoke their burgers and incorporate a sear, and I thought, let's try it. Never seen a video on this, never read a recipe, no preconceived notions, so we started testing it. I got on the phone with my buddy Jordan Jackson, longtime friend, he's a chef, he's the head pit master at Franklin Barbecue. We talked about it and we said, we bet searing it first would give you the best sear and best result. We tested both, we seared first, then smoked, we smoked, then seared, and we did come to the conclusion that searing it first was best. So that's what we're gonna show you today. Plus we're gonna sear in a super cool way. So let's get after it. I got half pound patties that I formed, 80-20 chuck, 80% meat, 20% fat. I think that makes the best burger. That's my favorite. And I'm simply gonna season with my meat church, holy cow, beef rub, salt, pepper, garlic. Season with what you want, but uh, me, and my family, we love this. So this is what we're doing. We're gonna season both sides. I'm gonna let it adhere for a few minutes, quite simply. And I've got my mill scale offset smoker over here running. We don't need to talk temperature yet. There's just fire going in it. I've got a nice coal bed uh, of post oak. So while this adheres, I'm gonna go check on my fire and I'll see you guys at the firebox in just a minute. All right, so we've got a vintage Griswold cast iron pan here. And as you can see, this sucker is ripping hot, you know, 700 degrees. So we're not gonna put anything on it, no oil, no butter, because this is super hot. We're gonna go dry. I don't mind searing like that. So let me get my burgers. We're gonna throw them on here to sear. So we're gonna sear about 90 seconds per side. This is just a cool way to do this. I mean, why would you not sear inside your firebox? These suckers are gonna just kick off a ton of smoke, picking up a lot of flavor from in there. And this just looks super sexy. So 90 seconds a side, gonna flip it, repeat on the other side, and then we're gonna head to the smoker after that. All right, it's been a minute and a half, so we're gonna flip. Look at that, epic crust. Another 90 seconds on this side. All right guys, we've been about another 90 seconds. Let's put these in this pan and let's head over to the real part of the smoker. All right guys, let's put them in the smoker. And let's talk about this finishing step. So we gotta smoke these until they're done, right? Which USDA says is 165 degrees, although some of you might like yours a little bit less. So right now, my mill skill is just over 200. I'm gonna open the stack. I'm gonna stoke up the fire. And now we're just gonna let the smoke roll. This is probably gonna take over an hour, depends on the size of your burger. So here's where you get to make a decision. I want these to be smoky. I love the smoke element in my dishes, as you guys know. So I'm gonna go low. I wanna be like 225, but you could finish this at whatever temperature you want, 250, 275. The hotter you are, the less smoky they're gonna be. Um, also, you, I'm using a pretty smoky wood on purpose because I want a smoky seared burger. So we're gonna let these ride. We're not doing anything but checking the internal temp. I'm gonna add cheese to them right before they're done, and that's it. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, it's been around an hour. Whew. You can see great color, they smell amazing. So we're at about 
you know, we're mid 150s or so. I just temp these, so I'm gonna put cheese on. It's right, one was 156, one was 157. Uh, and I'm just gonna let this melt down. It's gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna pull them, uh, and it's gonna be time to eat. All right, guys, it's been 10 minutes. Let's get these burgers. I like the super melted cheese. Those look delish. All right, these are gonna be nuclear hot. Let's give these a few minutes and then we'll build that burger. All right, these have cooled off, so it's time to build. We buttered and toasted some brioche buns, so we're gonna start with that. Lettuce pray. Not too much lettuce. So, and let's talk about this cook process on this as well. You know, I, I don't want to teach you guys to cook this, to cook ground meat less than 165, but you know, I should say like, I like mine cooked less normally. So you don't have to take them as far as we took these. So for anyone uh, kind of wondering, let's throw these big old tomato on here. Some red onion, proper pickle distribution condiments hey just like with the reuben we're going condiment suicide if you're in texas you get water burger on your burger you go to sonic they say do you want you get mustard on your burger do you want ketchup or mustard i want both and then you know i'm a duke's lover let's hit them all so do what you want i like them all oh yeah All right, man, that's a big one. Whew, it's gonna be tough to eat. Let's smash that down. I can't wait anymore. By the way, it smells awesome. Cheers, y'all. Damn. Son, I ain't mad at that. That is so good. That is so smoky. And the difference in that and your standard hamburger, that sucker is smoky. I love it. And I could feel that crunch on the sear uh, when I bit into that. Super, super, super good. I know it's hot outside right now. If I were y'all, I would take the time to do that. That is a win. And plus, it was super fun doing that in Firebox. I can't believe I didn't sweat out this shirt in the process. But anyway, you guys like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know we drop weekly cooking videos every Wednesday on this channel. And as always, Everything's down in the description, but our recipes always live on meatchurch.com, as well as our cool swag and our seasoning. We'll see y'all next week.